All right, so <laughs> I saw these clips on, uh, as I was putting the show together, I ran across a couple of clips of The View that I thought were hilarious, and somehow it got past me. I don't know how I missed this, because this is like, mwah, this is vintage garbage TV, but it's also very funny because they were having a conversation about who actually won the fifth Democratic debates. Now, you know, I've talked about it extensively on this channel. I did a, I did an interview. Well, not an interview. I did a video, a long-form video because of the live stream I did about the Democratic debates. And, you know, people have been debating who won. Okay. This is hilarious. I want you to uh, just listen a little bit about the ladies on The View and what they thought about the Democratic debates and who they thought. One particular lady, what, who she thought was the standout Democrat or contender in the room. You can't make this up. Thought he, I thought he was the, the star last night, for yeah. sure. Uh, Mayor Pete. Pete. I thought, I thought he was fabulous. Wait, so, he did a Wait very a good job. Wait a second. Oh. How many of you are Democrats? Clap. The one vote. Republican. There's a bunch over there. Thank you, sir. Uh, how many of you would vote for Mayor Pete? Yeah. Not as many. Not as yeah, many. See, I, I didn't. That's Mayor, my small research. Yeah, but let's remember. I think, they, let's, I, I think it, we have to say it again. Mayor Pete is is polling at zero percent among <laughs> African American voters. In order for you to be the Democratic yep. candidate, yeah, you need to have the African American vote. He does not have that. He was not impressive to me last night. You know who won the night for me? Kamala Harris. She yeah. spoke to the issues that affect me. When, when she said, you know, there are a lot of candidates that show up in a black church and because they want our vote, yet they are not there for the community. They're not speaking to the issues that matter to me. They're not speaking speaking to the fact that black women are dying in childbirth still. They're not speaking to the fact that my son, that my husband, that my father, uh, you know, can still die because of police brutality and gun violence. They're not speaking to those issues that speak to my community. So, she, but, but she spoke to those this, issues this during the, the debate. debate. <laughs> Yeah. So so it's a lot to unpack there. Let's do a little bit of unpacking, guys. Check this out, Johnson. Okay, first of all, um, Sonny, you had me until you threw up Kamala Harris. Like, you were good in the beginning. Then you just fell off, like, drastically, like a cliff. Just beer, splat. Did you get it? All right, so Kam you said Kamala Harris, you know, she pointed out that these – the whites, they show up at the black church every four years looking for a vote. They weren't there before. Yeah, the same could be same about Kamala Harris. Yeah, same thing. Like, oh, it's different that she doesn't show up at the black church either? Like, where has she been? So busy running around, calling out Jeff Sessions. Where has Kamala Harris been? Is, oh, am I missing something? Where Where is she? I've, I've never heard her do anything that wasn't a soundbite to try to get attention for herself. Where, was, where are all these issues she was fighting for that enamored, that, 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 uh, that, uh, that gravitated her, or had, the black community gravitated to her? Where, where is this at? And how dare you bring up police brutality in Kamala Harris in the same sentence? Kamala Harris didn't fight against police. She was their buddy. They were, they, she was right lock and step with the police unions. Except for that one time, like one time she like, you know, did one thing, one time about a, a guy who killed a cop or something. That was back when she was a, a district attorney, but not when she became attorney general. When she was attorney general, she went to the right, along with the police and, protect, and pro protecting the police. So how could you even, I know you sensed it like, uh-oh, I'm going the wrong way. Because I could see it in your eyes. You're like, uh-oh, I forgot who I'm talking about. I didn't forget Johnson. So yeah, you were right. you were doing so well. Then you have to start caping for your 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 friend Kamala, your fellow district attorney, fellow I'm sorry, fellow prosecutor. Kamala Harris, just because you both did the same job. 
And I often feel like these people, like, like, Sonny, you need to disclose the fact that you both were friends and also disclose the fact that you both had the same job. Because then maybe people understand why you're always kissing her butt. Just, mm, mwah, Kamala. So, now the first part I agree with. You know about Mayor Pete? <laughs> Like, you know, he's going to have to get the black vote. In fact, I've said that on this show. In fact, I have a 45-minute video with captions and everything talking about the black vote, how to get the black vote. But make one thing crystal clear. Cory Booker and Kamala need to watch that video just as much, if not more, than Pete needs to watch it. Because none of them speak to the issues that really impact the black community. Oh, so what good is, so how great is it for her to say, hey, Black women are dying in childbirth, but she really hasn't been an advocate for that. She hasn't been fighting against that. And why couldn't she be doing, why doesn't she have a history of fighting for that stuff? So anyway, yeah, Pete, uh, Abby Huntsman's a knucklehead. Like, it's like talking to her is like talking to a dead frog. Well, if, actually, the dead frog probably makes more sense. No one's ever going to confuse her with, uh, I don't know, a, a person who weighs information. But let's keep it 100 about these candidates. All right, so, yeah, man, Pete, yeah, I like the fact that Joy, you know, brought that up. Like, hold up, hold up. And you notice no one was like, yay. Like, well, the people that agree with Pete, because I guess they felt that he was really good that night, but would they vote for him? No. And that's pretty much how most of Americans feel. And I got a feeling there wasn't that many black, older black people in the audience that felt that way. I, I didn't see a lot of white people raising their hand or clapping. Are they homophobic or they just don't like Pete? I think it's possible you could just not like Pete. I think like you, it doesn't have to come with your, you know, once you turn 50, you get a black card and, uh, you know, you know, all of a sudden you don't like gay people. No, I don't think that's how it works. I think people have different thoughts regardless of who they are, what age they are, what color they are, what, what religion they are, what music they listen to. So anyway... Um, there's more on this. There's a, there's another clip that's hilarious as well, because that conversation keeps going. Check it out. I thought he, I thought he, he was the, the star last night for yeah. sure. Uh, Mayor Pete. 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 I thought. I thought it's gonna yeah. kill you. Well, and I think South he's Carolina. Look, and he, he may not win this thing. The, only, like, the reason I like Mayor Pete when he came on the show, he was a very calming voice, and, and he was he came across very thoughtful to me. And when I, he was on the debate stage last night, I forgot that Biden was there. He became this okay, alternative so moderate, moderate voice. I have Democrats. To say one thing. How many, of you, of, this, how many of you would vote for Biden? For God's sake, this isn't a focus group. Let me just I don't say know who you guys want to vote for. I think this is something we can all agree on, okay? <laughs> Tom Steyer has absolutely no business being on that debate stage. I believe he bought his stance on that debate stage. He has spent $1.8 million in Facebook ads, more than $7 million in TV ads, $3.5 million on digital ads. It is ridiculous that this man is on stage and Julian Castro wasn't. Shame on whatever process got this guy trying to buy his way into the White House. It is okay. crap. No, anyone who believes in campaign finance reform and keeping dirty money out of politics should be embarrassed that that man was allowed on stage. Well, you know, he has to do what he's got to do. They, but, there is yeah, no campaign but finance people, reform. But if you don't want people yeah. buying your way to the presidency, which is something I think we all, and I want to speak for everybody, but I think we can all agree all right. on this set, he has no business being there in his freaking Christmas time. Okay. I <laughs> that was funny, man. His freaking Christmas tie. Okay, so I like <laughs> I like McCain's uh I like uh Tom McCain John McCain's daughter in this one. She did a pretty good job. But look, check it out, check it out. Um Abby Huntsman said that uh Pete stole the show, he was so like you she forgot that Joe Biden was even on the, even on the stage. I gotta wonder, did Abby Huntsman even watch the debate? Because Joe Biden talked a lot. How much did he talk, Tim? I don't know. I got a little thing here called, uh, uh, where is it? Is this it? Let's see if this is it. No, that's not it. Where is it? Is this it? Hey, that's it. Yeah, he talked a lot. <laughs> I mean, he talked two seconds less than Pete. <laughs> but you forgot he was in it? You forgot he was even there? Jesus. That was a lot of bathroom breaks, Abby. 
<laughs> what were you doing during the debate? So anyway, yeah, so yeah, I don't buy that at all. You know, he has a calming voice. So does Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I'm sure Jeffrey Dahmer had a calming voice too, right? But no, um, <laughs> liars usually do. Listen, listen, darling. I'm going to cut off your arm, and I'm going to uh, eat it with fava beans and onions. We said it's so calming. It was so smooth and nice. Very thoughtful. I'm going to prepare it slowly over a warm fire. Um, I like I like the. Megan McCain on Tom Steyer, and I agree. Like, this guy should be able to buy his way onto the debate stage. And I know we don't have campaign finance reform in place, and there's no way to stop him from doing it. But we could call him out, though, Johnson. Yeah, we could call him out for doing it. Listen, listen guys, like, there's uh, there's just so much of crap that we should accept from these candidates. So, yeah, we should, we should be able to call him out, put him on the spot, and hold him accountable for the crap. I mean, if the guy, like, 1.8 million in, in Facebook ads, that's a... That's a lot of ads. And and uh, and don't listen to Mark Zuckerberg when he says, well, you know, we make so much money, we don't care about political ads. We just want people to have freedom of speech. Yeah, I've never met a rich person who said they didn't care to make more money. They gladly took Tom Steyer's money and don't do any fact-checking of his ads. And I'm not saying they should, but let's not pretend that you didn't like the extra 1.8 mil. That you got. You did, Zucks. You did. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, anything else on that? Uh, uh, I'm just I, I like I don't I don't normally pay much attention to Abby Huntsman. Maybe because she's not there a, a lot. I don't see Whoopi this time, but I had no idea she was that dense. I mean, it takes work to be that dumb, doesn't it? Like. I mean, you know, it takes, I mean, it's like focus to get it that wrong to be like, yeah, you know. I mean, we understand Sonny's in the bag for Kamala, you know, because they're both brownish. That's that's it, you know. But like Abby, I didn't, had no idea she was that stupid. Yeah, I, I want to I wanna see, I mean, come on, like Tulsi Gabbard, she challenged Pete, and he went right to a smear bag. Like, he had nothing. He had nothing legitimate to, like, say. You know, about why he would be willing, he'd be open to the idea of sending troops to Mexico. <laughs> you must have missed that part, Abby. That part just blew right past you. Sort of like, I don't know, study book study or reading or did you enjoy that content i know you did you got great taste johnson what can i say become a member of the tim black wolf pack today right here on youtube or go to patreon.com tim's take live and you'll get free stuff special stuff secret stuff do it today wolf pack